Hello, today I show you how to use through the dispatching Photoshop action and here is some of results that you can make with this action. Okay, and firstly some recommendation for optimal use of action. Use a good quality pictures. I recommend using a photo with a resolution of at least 3000 pixels for best effect. And before your section you need to do the steps. Make sure you are using the English version of Photoshop. And if you use version with another language, watch the video how to change language. The link under this video. Second step. Go to Image, Mod, and check the RGB color and 8 bits channel. And last step, just for CS5 and highest versions, click on menu icon at the right, select Panel Options, and check the Add Copy to Copy it Layers and Groups. Ok, now how to use Action. First, open your image, and one more important thing, your photo need to have background view. So, if your photo have this view, this view, you just need to select photo, then go to the layer, new, and select background from layer. Now it's ok. Next step, open brushes file. For that, go to the edit, presets, preset manager, in preset type select brushes, click load, then go to your download folder and just make double click on 3D Dispatching Brushes file. Ok, click done. Next step, open Patterns file. For that, go again to the Edit, Presets, Preset Manager, Preset Type, select Patterns, click Load, and just make double click on 3D Dispatching Patterns file. Ok, done. And next, open action file. For that, go to the window, actions, click on menu icon at the right, select load actions, go to your download folder and make double click on threaded dispatching for the show action. Ok. Next step, create a new layer and name it area. And please, don't use the caps lock. Select Brush tool and paint on this layer the area what you need to focus. You can use any color. Ok, when you paint the area, select the direction, open it and just click play. Wait a few minutes that Photoshop make all actions. Speed of action work depends on the power of your computer. I'm a little scroll this step. Ok, when action finishes work, you can change your final composition. And now I show you how to make this. Sharpness level folder, we can change the level of sharpness. It's low, medium, and high. The next folder, color tone of background. In this folder, you can add the color to your original photo. Look how it's work. Ok, 
Okay. And here you can change brightness and contrast of your background photo. In shadow folder you can change the opacity of shadow from particles on your model for that select shadows folder and change the opacity if you need okay in the next folder all particles in this folder we have blurred particles particles and small particles folders okay if you need to erase some space of your effect maybe you want to erase this blurred particle for that select blurred particle layer mask select brush tool and select black color and just wait okay if you need to make visible effect just select white color and paint again so it's very easy okay in the next folder particles adjustments you can change the brightness and contrast of your dispersion effect this folder you can add color to particles and you can change hue and saturation of your special effect Okay, in the next folder, color tone of all image. In this folder, you can add the color to a final composition. can combinate these layers okay and the last folder it's color adjustments folder in this folder you can add color to all image You can change brightness and contrast of follow image. Change hue saturation. And you can add black and white option to all image. So it's ready, just save, thanks for watching and good luck.